Welcome to another edition of Calamos Chart Talk. I'm David O'Donohue, and I'm here with Jason Hill, and today we're going to discuss how convertible arbitrage strategies can potentially capitalize from increased market volatility through gamma trading. Because a convertible bond is convertible into a specific number of underlying shares of its common stock, it has sensitivity to the underlying stock price movement. As the stock price rises, the bond is worth more and becomes more equity-like. As the stock price falls, it is worth less and has more bond-like attributes. How much the convertible rises or falls for a given stock price move is referred to as delta. Movement or volatility in a stock can come from either company-specific factors or market-related influences. Regardless, the more the stock moves, the more the delta changes and the more opportunities we have for gamma trading. Let's look at a hypothetical stock chart over time to see how this plays out. We begin with a typical convert arbitrade. We own a convertible bond and we're short shares of the underlying stock. Our bond is a 50 delta here, so we need to short 50% of the shares we can convert into to be on a neutral hedge. As we move forward in time, we can see that the stock price rises, and as a result, our delta rises too. In order to keep a similar hedge profile, we need to short additional shares of the stock. After our adjustment, we see that the stock price falls. As it falls, our delta falls as well, and now we need to buy back the shares we shorted to get back to our original hedge. We are now back in a similar spot to where we began. We have a similar stock price, a similar delta, and now we have the same hedge as well. The difference, however, is we have booked profits on the shares we sold higher and just bought back lower. Let's keep going. As we move forward, we can see the stock price rises again. Once again, we short some additional shares to get back to our heavier hedge. This time, though, after our short, the stock price continues to move higher. As we move on, we continue shorting and covering as our delta changes, with each buy closing out a corresponding short. At the end of the chart, you can see we're back near our original stock level. Once again, we have a similar stock price, delta, and hedge as when we began, but now we've booked realized profits from our gamma trading. While big market swings may not be comfortable for most investors, they can provide a convertible arbitrage strategy with lots of gamma trading opportunities. Thank you for joining us today for this installment of Calmos Chart Talk.